Hey guys and girls, welcome to the vlog. I'm Will from Oz Digital Media. I wanted to talk to you guys today about my experiences with self-publishing. Now, I recently finished self-publishing my book, Melbourne Through My Lens, and I'll put a link down below. I want to talk to you guys about the experiences I had. So I had in mind from day one of publishing a book that was um, uh, iconic locations in Melbourne shot in an artistic way, in an artistic fashion. So this book has some HDR, some long exposure, some night time, some street photography. Um, now, I took my time with this book. I took four years to be happy with all the images in the book and I went back and reshot the images time and time and time and time again. But in the end, I'm happy that the images in here are as best that I could the best work that I could do at the time with my skill level. My skill levels, I'd like to think, has evolved since then, as it always will do, but at the time, it's the best I could do. Now, what I did initially was I published a single copy through Blurb. Now, Blurb are an online um, uh, publishing company, so they allow you to print on demand so you can upload your, your PDF and people or yourself can buy one copy and have it shipped to their home. However, if you're going to try and sell that commercially, there's just no way to add uh, or no way to get the cost down low enough that you can then put your margin on and the wholesaler put his margin on and the retailer put their margin on. There's just no way. So Blurb is a good way to get started and get a book in your hands, touch and feel the book, give it to your friends um, and get feedback on you know, what they think, what about the typeset, what about the layout and so forth. Um, from there, I chose to go with a local printer. Now a local printing house in Melbourne here uh, actually cost me a fair bit of money. Um, cost me nearly $70 per book and that was only 40 pages in the book at that time. It's now, um, I think it's about 50, 56 pages now. Uh, and I printed uh, about, I think it was about 100 copies or so. And I sold all those copies to, to a couple of companies and, and friends and so forth. But there was just no way that I was going to be able to sell them to a distributor because there's no, there was no way the distributor could put his markup on and, and then the retailer and then everyone make, make money. There was no way. So as much as I like to support the local economy, I had to outsource the printing overseas and I went to China. So I basically jumped on Google and got some prices and ended up with a, a company that were returning my emails in a prompt fashion as opposed to the other company and went with those guys. Now what you'll get, first of all, is you'll get a, what they call a digital copy. And a digital copy means um, it's run off their small printer. It's just a quick sort of mock-up. Um, the binding isn't all that good and the cover isn't all that good, but it's something that you can touch and feel. Now I was, pretty happy with most of the images. They did ramp up the contrast um, and destroy a couple of my images in my personal opinion, but at the end of the day, the consumers, um, you know, the people who were looking at the end product said, no, they're great images. So that's, I suppose that's all that matters, but I still see everything that's wrong with the book. But that's, that's the next step, okay? And from there, you can say, look, I'm happy to go ahead with the mass print, and then you'll go on to a mass print like this. So you need to specify your paper. I chose the thickest paper available, which was 200 GSM paper, and a nice dust cover, gloss dust cover, and a um, matte hardcover, okay? You need to purchase a ISBN. You can see the ISBN down there, which is the international book number, and put a barcode behind that as well, which you can do all that online, it's all well, the barcode is a free generator, but you have to buy the ISBN. I think it costs about 130 Australian dollars to, to buy the ISBN. Now, that book is now in the stores across the city. So I sent it to a distributor. The distributor liked the copy. Um, he, it actually was printed without the dust jackets and I sent him a copy and he said, look, I really think you need to put dust jackets on. So I had these dust jackets made retrospectively and shipped to my home and I wrapped 500 books um, on my own, okay? So um, the distributor now has them in his factory and he's selling them on consignment, which means when they sell in the stores uh, through his, his reps, so his reps take them to the stores and sell them to stores, the stores pay the distributor, I eventually get paid when the books sell. Um, 
I'm quite happy with that, quite proud of that. Uh, and I should mention, by the way, that another way to buffer your um, self-funding investment is to try to get a pre-sale customer. I was able to get a pre-sale customer, one of my corporate uh, clients, to purchase 100 books at a low price, lower than wholesale, um, on a pre-sale uh, agreement. So um, they purchased a bunch of books at a low price and were, then gave them to their clients for Christmas presents, which helped me buffer um, 100 copies out of the 500 copies of the self-publishing. So I highly advise trying to get some pre-sale clients, but you need to get either a blurb copy in your hands, first of all, and then do the costing switch owner, because you need to give the, the pre-sale customer <coughs> excuse me, something to look at and a price on what the finished product's gonna be. So guys, that's basically it. Um, I'm quite proud of this. Uh, you know, it's, it's something that I can look back at the end of my lifetime and say, I self-published a book. Um, I, I, I had the concept, I did everything on my own with, with basically no advice from anyone and self-published the book through um, my own means and I'm quite proud of that and this may get picked up by a printer or rather a uh, publisher and then they can print the books and I won't have to self-publish which would be nice, that's the next step. So if you're into photography guys, give it a crack, I would say um, go slowly, make sure that you're not printing just for your own ego, make sure that you're printing a topic and some content that you believe will sell in the marketplace. Um, otherwise you're going to self-publish and you'll end up with a whole stack of books in your bedroom that nobody wants and it's going to be heartbreaking. So take your time, do your research and definitely give it a shot if it's something that you think you can do. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you have enjoyed this vlog, please consider being a Patreon down below. You can donate a dollar or two um, and it really helps me move forward with creating these vlogs for your enjoyment. Thanks guys. Bye.